The men's 10,000 meter race is underway at Husky Stadium right now. The interest in this race focusing as much on the time as in the result. You see the world record held by Arturio Barrios of Mexico at 2708.23. And there's a competitor in this race, Mark Nino of the United States at 2720.56. A competitor here, uh, Hanu Mutayab of Morocco, who feels he has a chance to set a new world record. And as we take a look at the competitors here, there are 23 in this event. Adis Abebe is one of the Ethiopian, Ethiopian runners we'll want to be looking at. And Craig Masbach, as we talk about the group of competitors here, there's the man who says he hopes to set the record. Hamou Boutayab, who's part of a great Moroccan distance running tradition. Their first medal in the Olympics was back in 1960 in the marathon. And of course, as we look at John Ngugi, one of the other favorites in the race, Saeed Awida, the Prince of Casablanca, they call him. He's the man who has dominated middle distance running over the last few years. And the three men in front right now are his protégés. He coaches them. He supports them financially. He guides them. He's here tonight to help guide Hamu Butayev to the world record. And it's a, it's a planned race. Everything has been planned to try to take him towards the record. And while the weather is a little cool for long jumping, it's perfect for 10,000 meter run. 25 laps total on this track. There are 21 laps remaining. 21 laps to go in the men's 10K, 6.2 miles. Talk a little bit about the rabbits and the pace setters and what that means to try and set a world record. Well, the record is so fast now that no man could do it by himself. Not since the great Ron Clark has front running been the way to set a world record in something like this. And these guys are going to work together. The man leading Aziz Sahar is more of a 1500 meter runner. He ran a 336 1500 meters just last Friday in London. The man in second, Mohamed Chamasi, will take the, la the race after the first seven and a half laps and push it for a while. All that will allow the man who wants to set the record, number 331 there, Hamu Butayev, to just relax, to go as far as he can while letting someone else set the pace. Then for the last half of the race, he's going to be all on his own. How about the difference between a 6.2, a 10K on the road, a 10K on this track, and the times involved? Well, of course, on the road, sometimes you have hills, sometimes you don't. Many times they're not measured exactly correctly. This is the true test as far as 10K goes, and this is a great distance. So much can happen in a race like this. Not only is it a great physical challenge, it's a great mental challenge to maintain what is really a crushing pace as they go through in 5 minutes and 27 seconds. They're about a second and a half off world record pace right now. 20 laps to go in the men's 10K, and at the same time, we told you it's a busy night at Husky Stadium. The five laps remaining in the men's 10,000 meter, Hamou Boutayeb of Morocco is leading. Adis Abebe is in second place. John Ngugi is third. Moses Tanui of Kenya is fourth. Pat Porter from the United States is fifth, along with Steve Placencia. They're right up there neck and neck. And Gerardo Antala of Mexico is in that the last part of that grouping. So Greg Masbach, Boutayeb continues to lead. He is number 331. Has about a 60 meter lead as he looks back to check to see where Abebe is. He lost his pacemakers early. They were supposed to go all the way to halfway. He had to take it at about 4,000 meters and he's been running on his own. Now Arturo Barrios, when he set the world record last August, he did half the running himself as well. So it's not as if he hasn't expected to run this race along on his own in the, in the second part but he's behind the world record pace. Now it's just a virtuoso display of distance running as he has four laps to go, a little less than a mile to run, all on his own, and you can see Abebe in the background who's in second place. He's 11 seconds ahead of Abebe, so he's got the race won. It's a question of does he let it loose, and Hamu Butayev, relatively new to these ranks of running. He's only been running seriously for about three years. He comes from At the Atlas Mountains in Morocco, and he's in the Army there. So he got into running in the Army. He's done well in cross-country for the Army. Now he's in world-class distance running. Might mention there are some lapped runners, but the leader is Hamou Boutayeb of Morocco, number 331. We'll come back for the conclusion of the men's 10,000 meters right after this. now with two laps to go and better make that one lap to go in the men's 10,000 meters you're looking at the leader Hamu Butayev coming up to one lap to go he's got one straight away and the whole lap to go the crowd is really encouraging him world record is out of reach Bob but he has a good chance to run the fastest time in the world this year and perhaps the fastest ever on American soil he's got to run 27 25 or better and what a great story Saeed Awida comes to middle distance running, brings Morocco on the map with his gold medal, 
in the 1984 Olympics, and then he takes guys like Hamu Buteyev under his wing and says, I want to give you the chances I've had to travel around the world and run in the best stadiums and to try to set records. He himself wanted to set the 10,000 meter record, but he's put those plans aside to help this man try to establish a record. He won't do it here, but he'll win his first major international race. Hamu Butayev, the leader, he is going to win from Morocco. Adi Sabebe from Ethiopia is in second place. John Ngugi of Kenya is in third place. Gerardo Ancala of Mexico is in, now moved into third place. The leader continues to be Hamu Butayev. Last Friday in London, he was on his way to set a personal best in the 5,000 meters, was knocked to the track, did two forward rolls, and still almost won the race. Here he does win the race. Hamou Boutayeb of Morocco, the winner of the men's 10,000 meter race. The world record did not fall, but Boutayeb gets a good time and he wins. Here comes Adis Abebe. He's going to finish second and Ngugi is third in the 10,000 meter. Very good race for Steve Placencia from the United States who looked as if he finished in fourth or fifth place there. Butayev taking time off. He's on the front. There's a war going on in Morocco, and he's a soldier on the front of that war from a town in the Atlas Mountains. Closest city to where he lives is Marrakesh. But Butayev, the sort of man who came from nowhere over the last couple of years and could well be a factor in the 1992 Olympics. And there are runners still continuing to finish this 25-lap race. Who finished that far behind the leader, Hamu Butayev. So the world record does not fall, but an excellent race by that man. And, of course, while Butayev was running in the 10,000 meters and winning it, the men's long jump competition continues as Mike Powell continues in the lead. We'll update that for you when we return. Morocco was the winner as you took a look at the top finishers in that event and the men's long jump competition also continues. Butayeb with the flowers, the victory lap and a satisfied look with an asterisk. He had wanted the world record. Well, he did injure his leg slightly when he made that fall in London last Friday. So he knew there was a chance he couldn't make the record tonight. I think by running close to his personal best, only a second, even under those conditions, he obviously shows that later this season he may have a good shot at it. So that's the conclusion of the men 10,000 meters. It was something appreciated by the crowd. By the way, another nice-sized crowd. Looks like around 20,000 here tonight.